Okay, so now I'm gonna do my uh, record collection here. You can't get my ocean view because it's too sunny, but anyways. So I got Moods and Visions by Farrar and Strunz, really good flamenco jazz artist. I got it autographed by Strunz at a concert. Here's uh, Blue Jays uh, with John Lodge and Justin Hayward. These are members of the Moody Blues. Another Moody Blues collection. Here's a good Moody Blues compilation, many songs, popular songs. Here's uh, Yes 902, 90125 Live actually. <clears throat> it was one of their albums in the 1980s. It's a really good concert and documentary video. And here's Aldi Miola, Speak a Volcano. He's a really good electric sort of flamenco, sort of Spanish style, jazz guitar, jazz rock. And here's my DVD of Julian Bream, a famous classical guitarist. Here's another great Moody Blues album. Every good boy deserves favor. And then the Moody Blues Seventh Sojourn. This is an album from like 79. Really good album. Uh, Moody Blues set list uh, made by the keyboardist's wife. She gave it to me as a gift. There's Moody Blues Sur la Mer. I think this is 1980s. It's pretty good pop, progressive rock. And uh, this is a copy I made of uh, um, Christopher Parkening, classical guitar. Okay, so, oh, I got another one lying around. In Search of the Lost Chord by the Moody Blues. Okay, so we'll go into my record collection room and get some more. Oh, yeah, gotta get the light here. Okay. Let me close the window. Alrighty. So, got Moody Blues live at uh, Greek Theater. Happy to see you, my friends. Uh, Moody Blues Inside the Music documentary. Moody Blues the Fully Authorized Story. It's a documentary on the Moody Blues. Uh, here's the Moody Blues in Paris, The Lost Performance, 1970. Partially dubbed, they, they played a soundtrack and live, so there's some of the... It's semi-live, it's not totally live. And here's, here's at the Isle of Wight Festival. Threshold of a Dream, Isle of Wight Festival. I think this is like 69 or something. It's a good concert. Ooh, here's Moody Blues at uh, the Hall of Fame, uh, Royal Albert Hall. Legend of a Band, the story of the Moody Blues, featuring uh, keyboardist Patrick Moraz, some interviews. Uh, here's Genesis, uh, live at Wembley Stadium. Pink Floyd, biography, between Sid... Sid Barrett in the dark side. And a Technicolor Dream, uh, talking about London in the flower power era. 1960s in London documentary. And I got some Polish classical music. Uh, Debussy sur le mer, uh, le mer nocturne. Brooke Mendelssohn, Violin Concertos. And here's another classical collection. Just world's famous classical music. And here's a soundtrack to Vampiros Lesbos by Manfred Hubler and Siegfried Schwab. It's really good it's sort of jazz, uh, progressive psychedelic rock to some Jess Franco films. And here's some classic... Uh, 
World Classics. It's a, actually a Polish uh, CD. And Greatest Hits of Duran Duran. Uh, Genesis Nursery Crime from 1972. Philips Brahms Concerto. We got uh, Aldi Miola, Jean Luc Ponty, and Stanley Clark at live at Montreux Jazz Festival. It's a great DVD, great concert footage. Then we got Aldi Miola live at Montreux. This is really good on Ovation Steel String Acoustic. Great guitarist. And I got Paco Lucia, Light and Shade, a portrait. Great flamenco guitarist. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, pictures of an exhibition. Pretty cool concert. Then the documentary on Steve Howe, Live Legends, Careful with That Axe. It's sort of an unusual title because that's from a Pink Floyd song, but it's a pretty good documentary and interviews about Steve Howe. Here's Asia. It's a compilation of music videos from the original group. Uh, Steve Howe's Remedy Live includes Steve Howe Acoustic, Steve Howe Remedy Tour Story. He was a guitarist for Yes. Anna Vidovic, uh, guitar virtuoso. She's a really good uh, Croatian, uh, Yugoslavian, uh, I think Croatian guitar, uh, classical guitarist. And we got David Gilmore live at the Royal Albert Hall. Pretty good and has a tour documentary. We got Yes, uh, Keys to Ascension, filmed live in San Luis Obispo, California, actually where I went to uh, junior college. Progressive Rock Anthology has a bunch of tunes on it. Um, Emerson Lincoln Palmer, Caravan, Curb Dare Family, Focus, Nectar, Rick Wakeman, Barkley, James Harvest. And you got America live. Uh, this is filmed in the 1970s. They did Ventura Highway and um, Desert with a Horse. Horse with a, a horse with no name. Famous uh, American pop, folk pop. There's a progressive group called Caravan. Uh, here's some... Let's see. Okay, a Paul Odette Lude, but that's it. Let's see. Here's a Leona Boyd classical guitar. Steve Hackett, Hungarian Horizons, playing at Budapest. Uh, Friday Night in San Francisco, uh, Demiolo, McLaughlin, Paco Lucia, and more uh, Christopher Parkin and classical stuff. Ah, great Paco de Lucia. Uh, Fuente y Caldal, one of his most famous albums. And then something my sister gave me, which I haven't listened to. And some flamenco stuff. My dad's trip to Spain. Uh, everything else is copies. <laughs> Larry Coriel, Christopher Parkening, Al Dimiola. Elegant Gypsy. Larry Coriel, European Impressions. Live on Ovation Acoustic. Otmar Liebert, Nouveau Flamenco. Paco Lucia Al Moraima, a really good album. Jazz Flamenco. Struns und Fra, Americas. Jazz, flamenco, Spanish guitar, Rush, really good uh, group from Canada, Grace Under Pressure. Do I have two discs in that? I just want them to just fell apart. Uh, Pink Floyd Metal. Uh, Steve Ackett, Please Don't Touch It. <clears throat> Genesis Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. And uh, all the other, see if I can find all this stuff. You got all my collections here. Mar I have some movie by Mario Bava. And then Allison, uh, Venus Summer. This is a DVD of the film I made. Music video with Allison. 
and that's a surfing stuff, Venus Summer, Genesis documentaries. Steve Hackett, somewhere in South America, live at Teatro Coliseo, Buenos Aires. Steve Hackett was a guitarist for Genesis, great progressive rock guitarist. You know, Steve Hackett's uh, live in Tokyo, guitarist for Genesis, and some members of King Crimson, Moody Blues, to our children's children's children. Really good album. Moody Blues caught live, plus five. Five studio tracks and live uh, at Royal Albert Hall. But uh, the live is okay, but I actually prefer the studio tracks. And then I got a collection of uh, Patrick Moraz. Um, I knew his ex-wife, and she gave me these Patrick Moraz, Moraz DVDs. It's really good. Great keyboardist for Yes, Moody Blues, and other groups. Uh, more Moody Blues, Question of Balance. Moody Blues, Keys to Ascension. I made a copy of it. Carpenter's Love Songs. This is a group, pop group from the 70s. And of course, I wish I had the cover, but Led Zeppelin, fourth album with Stairway to Heaven, right? Then Moody Blues, Days of Future Past, which is their probably best selling album. And Moody Blues, Threshold of a Dream. Yes, Close to the Edge, of course. Um, this is probably the album that got me into playing guitar and progressive rock. And my friend gave me a cassette of this album a long time ago. I was in high school, and this was sort of a religious spiritual experience with this album. And you have Going for the One, another Yes album, Steve Howe, Beginnings, copy. <laughs> Dreamship, Ed Shom, this is a guitarist that plays for guys rock. So that, I think that's my entire collection. That's it for my collect, my music collection I have on CD. My albums, my LPs I gave to a friend and he probably sold them, so I don't know, anyways. 